Today we're going to talk about the smart fence receiver. It has a battery in it, one year battery life. It will also supply you a tool. It has a slot for opening the battery compartment. It has a magnet for adjusting the levels and two slots for testing. The battery compartment is on the underside of the receiver. We just insert the tool into the slot, turn it an eighth of a turn anti-clockwise and the battery cap will pop out. Batteries inside. These batteries are available from dogfence.co.uk and as I said, a one year battery life. When we insert the battery, we insert it positive end down, pop the battery cap back on, an eighth of a turn clockwise so that the slot is in line with the collar and that's all done. To change the levels on the smart fence collar, you come round from the dog's tail and you're looking for the two raised lines on there. You use the magnet on the tool against those lines to change the levels. This collar is set to level two. If I want to go to level three, I hold it on, it beeps twice, and then beeps three times. The light also flashes the amount of times. If I go too far, I go right up to level seven, when it goes back to audible only. One, one, two. And just take, remove the tester when you get to the level you require. It has a status light on it that flashes every 40 seconds. It'll do a single flash unless the dog has been into the zone in the last 24 hours when it'll do a double green flash. When it needs a battery, it'll flash red every 10 seconds. It'll also tell you on your app. To test the collar, we pop the probes into the holes in the tester we take the whole unit over to your transmitter, hold it up against it, and you can see the light coming on by my thumb. That tells me everything's working as it should be.